Yeah. All right, so for the Whitney Houston sessions, I uh, worked with her on two occasions. One was for the Preacher Wife soundtrack at Boss Town in Atlanta, Georgia, and I was working with uh, Ricky Minor, the producer of the track. Also, another time was in New Jersey at her mansion. But the session for the Preacher Wife soundtrack, we were setting up and we waited for Nippy to come in probably like for four hours and her and Bobby was out partying and they came in about three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, okay, this session is going to be a wash. But um, Ricky, I guess, had already taught her the song. And so by the time she got in, riled up, she's like, let me get into the booth and Bobby would do the same. Let me get the mic, Rick, give me the mic. And so she gets into the booth and... I'm like, okay, this ain't going to turn out to be anything. One take, literally, she knocks out the whole song. Now, I had never experienced this before. And one time since, um, uh, another artist by the name of Sammy, he would do one takes as well. But um, nonetheless, knocked that record out, made the, the soundtrack, and I was floored. I was like, this is a pure genius and talent. Uh, the second time was in um, Jersey at her home. She had a big SSL console and you downstairs in the mansion, we'd walk down the hallway and the hallway was just filled with nothing but awards, American Music Awards, plaques. And she had this big casing and it was all filled with Grammys. And uh, I feel like it was just a, a blessing and an honor to have worked with her as part of her legacy.